Hey guys, welcome back to Hill Life Homestead. I'm going to be showing you the lifespan of a honeybee. So this right here is a honeybee egg. The queen um, lays 1,500 to 2,000 eggs in each cell, in each one of her cells. And she can either lay unfertilized eggs or fertilized eggs. And the unfertilized eggs are actually what produces the male bees or the drones. After three to four days of the egg being laid, it hatches into a larva. The larva is fed by worker bees, and if it's a future queen, they are fed royal jelly. A future queen bee is actually fed royal jelly, and the royal jelly actually comes from the worker bee's head. So in all reality, the queens do need the worker bees. Worker bees are actually fed bee bread, which is a mixture of pollen and nectar. When the larva begins losing its worm-like shape, you know it's turning into a pupa. It also develops eyes, wings, and legs. At this stage, the pupa does not eat. The queen bee only takes six days to develop, or the future queen bee, and the worker bee only takes 11 days to develop. Obviously, after the pupa stage is the honeybee stage. The honeybee stage has different roles and lifespans. The worker bees only live 20 to 40 days. They go to the field and get pollen and nectar from flowers. They also guard the entrance and tend to younger bees. They also have drone bees. Drone bees, their only role is to mate with the queen. And I just realized that all the bees that we pick up are gonna die and the queen has to reproduce them. So we're depending on her. Okay, I'm gonna do a short little recap. So this is the honeybee egg, this, is the honeybee larva, this is the honeybee pupa, and this is the honeybee at its final stage. Thanks for watching. Be sure to stay tuned with when we get our bees and our journey with our bees, and God bless.